Hey guys, this is Rick with Hot Wheels Garage. Today we're just doing a quick uh, unboxing of this item here. We have a uh, OBD Mate OM123 check engine scanner. Um, this is something I've had my eye on for a little bit and I finally decided to make the plunge to go ahead and purchase one. I have had experience with other cheaper units. I, I tried the ELM, ELM321 I believe it is, and it's a, a Bluetooth module um, that uses the app to scan codes. Um, unfortunately, I was only able to get to work on my Volvo, but it would not work on my Trailblazer. Um, and I've had a need for one of these for quite a while. Um, prior to, to uh, I didn't have anything to begin with. Um, trying to pull out, I got a check engine light on my Trailblazer. And I've uh, gone to the local auto parts store and had them scan it a couple times. And each time we come back with a new fault code, one was for an air filter, replace the air filter. The auto parts store will not reset the engine check engine light, so you're at the mercy of waiting for it to cycle through till it finally goes away. And if it doesn't go away, then you got to go back to the auto store again, have them pull out the codes again. They won't erase the code, so it's really a pain in the butt. Um, it's a free service that they offer, but it's really a pain in the butt going back and forth and trying to do it. So I finally broke down and bought one. Um, looking at AutoZone, I think the cheapest scanner was about 50 bucks. It didn't look as nice as this one. Uh, same with Harbor Freight, I think it was about 50 bucks. This one was $29.99 on Amazon. Uh, had free shipping. I uh, had it in about three days it took to get here. So I can't wait to use this. Uh, this is going to work for any OBD2 uh, 1996 and later model car. Um, it'll turn off the check engine light, so that's great. So when you're trying to troubleshoot these things and you're, and if you have multiple codes, um, such as like a coolant code and a air filter code you can go through and erase those lights as you take care of those issues um, and this is really going to save you a lot of money uh, having these um, just on minor repairs and, and uh, just making sure that if your check engine light is on and it makes sure it's not something that's very vital as far as uh, most of these things there could be a, a gas cap it could be a bad O2 sensor which is going to cost you money um, just because the car is not going to run efficiently and you're going to be using a lot more gas than you need to um, so it's, this is a good thing to have in your toolbox. Um, the, the prices really come down on these uh, things. Um, so they're very handy to have. And like I said, uh, the auto stores, they offer the free services. But the problem is, is they will not erase the check engine light. So I, I've gone there three times already and I still have the check engine light. And the issue is unresolved. Like I said, it went from an air filter to low coolant to... Um, I don't know what the issue is now. Um, so I will find out with this. I'll be able to pull the codes out. Um, so just a you know quick rundown on the uh, features here. Supports CAN control area network. Um, it has uh, multilingual, so if you're Spanish, English, French, German, and more. Just taking a quick look at it here. It's got a very nice heavy duty cable. It's about probably two and a half, three feet long. It does have a mini USB connector down here, which I'm kind of uh, interested if you could upgrade this. Possibly you can upgrade the software on here for future upgrades and updates. Um, we'll definitely have to look in the manual here and find out. Um, but overall, it's, it's a very quality feeling piece. All the buttons feel nice on it. Pretty heavy duty. It's got a nice big cable on it. Uh, this will be able to give you automatic data streaming of like your air intake temperature sensor and and uh, RPM and a couple other different items too that you'll be able to pull up here and see when you're trying to troubleshoot things. It's a good resource to have. So, but that is the unboxing for now. And there's some pictures here in the book that you can see of the the details of the live data stream that we we're just talking about. Um, I did want to hook this up and kind of do a, another video on it. Um, just pulling out the code, seeing what kind of codes it is. Um, but right now I'm just doing the unboxing for now. It's dark out, so I didn't really have time to go put it in the car and plug it in and see what's going on with it yet. Let's see, what is the warranty? Look at that, we're right in the warranty page. Warranty and service. Limited one-year warranty. So this has a one-year manufacturer warranty. Um, I, I love buying things from Amazon. Amazon is very uh, uh, customer-friendly. If you have an issue, you call them right up. Regardless of who the seller is, they will take care of you. Uh, I mean, most of the issues can be resolved through the sellers, but if for any reason you have any issues, Amazon is, is very good with their customer service. 
uh, and that's why I like I don't use them as often as I should um, but there are some pretty good deals to be found on Amazon uh, I mean Amazon has taken over the retail market um, you, you can't be their shipping. They come with Sunday shipping, uh, seven days a week. They're doing deliveries, so you really can't beat it. But uh, so that's just my basic unboxing for now, and uh, we'll do a follow up as far as uh, how it uh, how how it works and and uh, how good it is. Thanks. Bye. Okay, uh, so we've uh, plugged the device in. Turn the ignition on and press any key to continue. So we're going to turn the ignition on. And press the, we'll say the enter key. Let's see here. Read codes. Store codes. Coolant temperature, below thermostat regulating temperature. System bank too lean. So we have three codes. System too lean bank one. Coolant thermostat, coolant temperature below thermostat regulation temperature. Idle air control system, RPM lower than expected. I think that's just because the engine's off. Let me start it up and see if any of these go away. Currently there is no check engine light on. So we're going to erase the codes. Erase trouble codes, so you yes. Erase down. Okay. So, uh, coolant temperature too low. I'm wondering if that's because the vehicle is off. And then also that the uh, low idle air. I believe that was because the car was off. The one that has me concerned about is about the lean. Bank one lean. I'll have to look into more of that to find out what that means. So there's a quick uh, rundown of that, and then uh, it gives me somewhere to start from and go from there. Thanks, guys. Bye.